Hi. My name is Toya Today Taylor, and I'm the executive director of WEAP. We act, present, and perform the Speak With Purpose program, which is the only public speaking class offered in Seattle Public Schools at many of your schools, and we're so proud of that. I'm here with my team today. This is Miss Sophie. Hey. Miss Crystal. Hello. And today we are working on a free ride. So some of you know what a free ride is, but some of you are like, what in the world is that? Is it a free right that you give away to somebody or what? This is an opportunity, and we love doing this in Speak With Purpose, for you to freely express yourself. It's all about letting go of judgment, allowing yourself to really just say what it is that you are feeling in the moment. Nothing more, nothing less. It doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are. We do this with students as young as fourth grade, all the way up to 12th. And you can't imagine the amazing pieces that people come up with when you allow yourself just to be free. All right. So I'll say this. For me, free writing was really important when I was probably like in ninth grade. Mm. Ninth grade for me was hard, you guys. It was a time that I felt like nobody, I mean, no adult, really listened to my voice. Mm. I felt really alone and like um, I had things to say. I just didn't know how to say them. Have you ever felt that way? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Middle school, elementary. Mm -hmm middle school for me. Yeah. I think at some point it was even elementary through high school mm -hmm. um, until I learned, I found this, this thing I could do called free writing. Um, and this became my voice. It became my opportunity to talk about whatever was on my mind. And I began to talk about my community, my life, how I felt about school, um, and how I saw myself in the future. And so I say to you, if I can do this, Anybody can do this and you should, and we will today. All right, so first thing about free writing is I'm gonna show you how we get started. First of all, you want a journal. If you don't have a journal, no sweat, it's not a big deal. Get something to write in or on. So a piece of paper, what else could you use? You could use your phone, use a laptop, tablet. Mm -hmm. All right, you just want something you feel comfortable writing in. For me, it's a journal for today, all right? We're gonna give you 10 seconds to go and get something to write in. You ready? I'm gonna break and it down for you. To write with. A pen or pencil, either one. Thanks, Miss O. I got you. Thank you. So we're gonna break it down for you. Go get it. 10. Here we go. Nine. Where you at? Where you at? Eight. Go get a pen or a pencil. Seven. What? What? Six. Five. 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 Four. Three. I hear you come. Two. Find a place so you can write. One. 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 What? One. All right. Cool. Um, now that you have something to write with or in, show you how we do our free writes. Here's a free write that I did the other day. You're going to put your name in the left-hand corner. So open up to any page that's a free page. Write your name in the top left-hand corner, and then right across on the opposite side, you're gonna to put today's date, whatever that is, okay? Today is 424 in the studio, correct? And then whatever we choose as a topic or two words, that's what you're going to put in the middle. And then you always want to find some place to put the exact, exact time that we start. And um, we'll tell you what time to start, and you'll put the time there then. All right? So put your name, left-hand corner. Mm -hmm. Date, right-hand corner. We'll tell you what the topic is today. And then you'll also put the time we start. Cool. Cool. Now, we're almost there, you guys. We're almost about to free write. Few things in We Out that are truly important to us so that you really get the ultimate um, experience with your free write. You have to find a sweet spot. Mm -hmm. A sweet spot is a place where you can concentrate, that there are going to be no interruptions from your little sister or brother or your television, your phone. Put it away. Find your sweet spot. It can be under a table, on a table, on the floor. 
left of teal. Next, when we say pen to paper, once that timer starts, you do not, you just write. Don't stop writing. Don't think, just do. Allow your mind to get comfortable with writing. If you get to a place where you're writing and you're like, I don't know what else to write, write it. I don't know what else to write. This is crazy. Why am I writing? Maybe the sky will show something open up to me and I will see and be free and you'll just start, let your mind get there, okay? The other thing is most importantly, inner coach. It's important that you find your voice because I, um, I can't even tell you how many songs I've tried to write or poems and didn't finish because I thought nobody wanted to hear them or I didn't know what else to write or I just gave up on myself. Mm -hmm. That's an inner critic. That's what we don't do. We want to have that inner coach that says, I can speak about anything I want. The world is open to me. I believe in my words. Somebody else needs to hear this, but I have to be the one to write it. Or I'm just writing it for myself, and that's all that matters. I can do this. Okay? Inner coach, dispel the inner critic. All right? So I think, did I miss anything, you guys? I think we're almost ready. Okay, get your journal, whatever you're writing with. I want you to now go find your sweet spot. It can be on the floor. I might just stay here, because I'm the oldest of everybody at the table, right? So I think, I'm a, I think this feels good to me. This will be my sweet spot for today. I love it, Miss Sophie. Oh, I like that. That's nice, Miss Crystal. So let's pick two words that we're going to free write today. Um, I'm thinking heart. Mm -hmm. What are you guys thinking? What about friends? Mm, yeah, I like that one. I like it too. Now, remember the beautiful thing about a free write is be free. Use your imagination. Heart doesn't have to mean the traditional definition of the heart bumping in your, or, uh, in your chest. It can be a planet called heart, a food called heart. Um, how can we use friends? You can think about the stuffed animals you have as friends. Mm -hmm. Your stuffed animals. Think about like your pets as friends, your, or even like a pet named friend. A pet named friend. Friend could be the name of a school you go to, the name of a song um, that was made on Planet Heart. Whatever you want. That's the beauty of a free write. Is you choose what the words mean to you and explore it. Be open. Okay. So we're going to get our journals or whatever you have to write. And I want you to, right in the middle of that page, put heart, friends, your name in the left-hand corner, remember? And the time in the right. And the time that we start, we're in the studio, and the time is 11.35, OK? We're going to play a little music. Find your sweet spot. Oh, I saw, oh nice. This is going to be my sweet spot. Here we go.
Wow, three minutes goes by really, really fast. So write your last word. I see Ms. Crystal is still writing her last sentence. Take your time. Okay. And put the time that we stopped. And I'm going to share my free write. Is that okay? Yeah, be great. All right. And I want you to remember, sometimes people are like, I don't want to share. You don't have to. Um, but if you want to, you can share with a friend, a sibling, a parent, uh, or just read it out loud to yourself. So you feel really good about, or you just hear the words. You feel good about it um, and know it's for you. All right. So this is my version of heart and friends. Heart fill the room flowing from speakers like trains in Brooklyn, pouring out like Nina Simone or Miles Davis. The song she played was Friends, a melody, a beat that reminded me of home, reminded me of my grandmother's sweet potato pie. I cried, the tears came from my eyes as I heard her pour into the room, slow like sweet molasses, like sweet magnolia flowers. I thought about friends, some old, some new, they all crossed my mind, and in that moment, I was lost in time. Wow. That's so, beautiful. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, we won't go into your free rights, but what were your free rights about? Mm. Really quickly. Um, mine was about my little brother who had a friend named Hart oh. um, in elementary school. Nice. So remembering that. Writing about her little brother having a friend named Hart in elementary school. I talked about how your heart is what keeps you alive and how different emotions can affect how you feel and the importance of having heart and friends in your life. Nice. So Ms. Sophie used the traditional sense mm -hmm. of expressing your heart and having good friends in your life. There's no wrong or right in a free right. So remember, find your sweet spot. Once you start writing, don't stop. Just allow it to flow, OK? Give yourself a time, I would say three minutes to five minutes. More importantly, remember, always embrace that inner coach that allows you just to be yourself and express yourself to the fullest and dispel that inner critic that tells us what we can't do, because we can do it all, all right? So if you want to share some of your free rights with us, we would love to hear them. We're going to put up our website at the end of the video, and you can share them right on our site, and we would love to hear some of your free rights. Yeah? We cool. love that. My name is Toya Tanae Taylor. I'm the executive director of WEAP. This is? I'm Ms. Sophie. And Ms. Crystal. Enjoy life. Be true to yourself. Speak, Speak with, with purpose. purpose. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.